Please help me welcome the new help. Okay, is everybody pumped? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a good start because we spiked your coffee. So, <laughs> so my daughter came home with a green bean plant in a styrofoam cup, and it was tall and willowy. And, well, when we went to bed, the cat got curious, <laughs> as cats will. And I said, I think we have to put it in the compost. And she said, oh, no, no, no. We don't have to do that. And she consoled me. She said, in just a minute, we'll fix it. And she ran and got the first aid kit. <laughs> and I realized at that moment that there was a lesson in this for me. And the lesson is that I had to begin to look at everybody with no exceptions, with the same eyes and heart as my daughter had used on this broken, beaten up bean plant. a fabulous presentation. She was very inspirational. I loved how she used different stories from her life. It kind of made you feel like, like there is a little spark in your life. This is a story about a 19 year old kid with Down syndrome and he got a job as a grocery store beggar and the one cashier that had Johnny, they were lined up <laughs> all the way up the aisle, sometimes too deep. They didn't move because Johnny had something for them that made them feel so good. Corporations worldwide have adopted Johnny the Bagger as their figurehead for what employees can do for people, what anybody can do. They can put their special mark on anything they do. Well, it resonated with me very strongly for a number of different reasons. She was hospitalized for her heart condition. So I took my three kids and we headed down the hall to see her. And just before we got to her room, this is what I heard. Mrs. Watson, why didn't you tell us you were a diabetic? <laughs> and then in Helen's little 80-year-old voice, I heard, if I had told you, would you have let me eat all that good stuff? <laughs> she said, for 80 years I raced through life. Oh, I had so much to do. I did this, I did that, I did all these things. And she said, but I was no different than anyone else. I had problems. But did I have time to sit around and think about my problems? No way. Then I got this heart condition. And I had to sit. And I've been sitting now for about three years. And I discovered something. I solved every problem I'd ever had for 80 years. Every problem, because now I had time. She said, everything makes sense, because I figured it out, like a piece of a puzzle. It's so easy. You can do this too, she said. This is the day for you to learn about inspiration and influence. And so I've got one for you. This is it. You are fabulous. And thank you.